Now in this video we are going to see the regulation of lac operon in different modes and uh, this this is going to be really exciting because we are I am having four different animations to play in this video uh, now let us uh, let us play now in this first animation one minute okay uh, here uh, we'll be seeing the differences of uh, the region which are controlling uh, the lac operons uh, lack of operon regulation okay that means we are having the promoter we are having operator we are having uh, those structural gene regions but the controlling regions are the promoter operator and also the repressor which is really really impor important in this case because it is only thing which is negatively regulate all these things okay not actually only thing because uh, the concentration of cycling amp is also uh, uh, is a key player in this uh, wh whole game okay now in this case we will be looking at uh, the different modifications of all those regions like promoter operator or, or uh, in the modification inside this repressor structure and how they will affect uh, this whole lack of error. now in this case the genotype is p all all is positive that means we are having uh, the right type of uh, repressor gene the right type of uh, operator gene and also the structural genes everything is fine no mutation nothing is happening everything is fine so if in this situation lactose is absent then what will happen now as a result of this this repressor will come and bind with the operator region tightly as a result dna polymer rna polymers cannot sit and initiate the transcription of Z why are these structural genes okay so no mrna in this case so no proteins are made uh, so there will be no beta galactosidase uh, lac operon will be repressed now uh, in the second time if the lactose is present at the same genotypic level now what will they do lactose will come and bind with this repressors of uh, the this lac operon as a result this repressor will unable to bind with the operator region as you can see in this picture now as a result of that rna polymerase can easily sit on to the promoter and can initiate the transcription of the structural genes which are z y and a now you can see the mrna is being produced then uh, it will be translated into the desired product and beta galactosidase is one of those uh, such products okay now in second animation we are going to see uh, another level of regulation now in this case as you can see in this picture that uh, the uh, inhibitor uh, gene is uh, okay it, it is a wild type gene plus means the wild type gene uh, the operator is, uh, is is mutated in some way so operator region is mutated in such a way that it cannot bind with this repressor okay and z y a and all the structural genes are also wild type so new no mutation is there only the mutation is in the operator site now and we know this operator site is really important of binding for the repressor protein now the repressor protein have to bind with the operator to block uh, this uh, lac operon system but if this operator is changing its uh, or it's modified in such a way that it cannot bind with this lac repressor protein then uh, this operon system will go on all the time so this C means continuous replication on uh, uh, transcription on we'll be seeing a little now let us let us look at the animation now here as a result of this uh, uh, normal situations where uh, lack, uh, no no none of this uh, repressor can come and bind with this uh, operator site okay so when the lactose is absent it cannot bind with that and RNA polymers can sit on to the promoter and can produce the mRNA and mRNA can be translated into the desired product okay that's the basic thing now in normal situations where lactose uh, uh, is absent it is the it is in the normal case okay but what will differ uh, in due to the presence of uh, this uh, presence of lactose during this kind of modification now when the lactose present what will happen uh, in the lactose present uh, in normal situations uh, it is changed its conformation so in normal situation it can go and bind with uh, this uh, cannot bind with the operator site due to the structural change due to the binding with lactose so RNA polymers can synthesize uh, the structural genes but the varying in this part is in the previous term or what we have discussed in previous term or then in previous uh, uh, line is is that uh, though the lactose are uh, not present but still uh, as a result of this modification of this operator site uh, this uh, repressor protein can cannot bind and sit on to the operator site and cannot uh, uh, synthesizes all these mrnas for them okay so that is the basic thing in this case now in third animation what we are going to see 
let's play it now in this case uh, let us think about the mutant lac repressor protein as a result of the mutant gene it produces the lac repressor which is a pretty uh, which is having a lower affinity towards the operator region uh, of this whole system but all the other regions are wild type in this case so what will happen in this kind of modifications let's find now in normal situations as a result of low affinity this repressor cannot bind with operator so RNA polymers can sit and can easily transcribe so when the lactose is absent uh, it cannot bind RNA polymers can sit and easily synthesize it so in general terms in oh, when when everything uh, is fine uh, structural genes and repressor genes everything is fine everything is wild type then also these things are happening so this is pretty common in all these three examples we have seen but what will be varied in this case is Oh, sorry no no not at all uh, I'm doing this mistake again now in this case what we can see this is the difference between the uh, this this um, wild type case because if we see the wild type uh, process again uh, we can find let us play the wild type process now you can see in this wild type process when there is no uh, when there is uh, no lactose present in that case this repressor can come and bind with the operator site and the RNA polymerase cannot initiate uh, the transcription process so this is the basic uh, point of view during all uh, the wild type conditions but whenever there is a mutation on uh, this uh, repressor gene as a result they produces a protein repressor protein which cannot bind with the operator they, so so it cannot block the replication uh, transcription though there is no la uh, lactose present in the environment so this is the difference between both of them lactose absent uh, but in this case we can see lactose absent lac operon is blocked or lac operon is repressed when there is no lactose this is in the wild type case so when there is no lactose lac operon is repressed this is the basic thing this is the ideal case scenario but when we are having a change or modification in or the mutation in the repressor gene then it produces a repressor which is unable uh, to bind with the operator in that case though the lactose is absent but the lac operon is induced okay in same case is happening in this case too though the lactose is absent lac operon will be induced when there will, there is uh, the change in operator site okay so if there is change in operator site or the mutation uh, mutated operator site it will lead uh, to always uh, or in all the aspects there will be the transcription and there will be uh, the expression of all genes okay so this is the basic thing in all this case too and you can think all this okay now in the fourth one is slightly different in this case we are having a change in this uh, uh, inducer site again again change in this uh, repressor gene and as a result of this uh, repressor gene change it uh, it cannot bind with in this case the change is not in the active site where it is bind, bound to the operator but the change actually just think about it uh, a little moment that this repressor protein have two different binding site one binding site uh, is uh, to bind with the operator region or to the gene and non another binding site is to bind with the uh, lactose so in the previous case of I minus mutant in this case they lose the ability to bind with uh, the operator region and thus s inducing the lac operon in uh, even absence of lactose but in this case uh, uh, the IS type of mutant uh, will not bind with or, or lose the ability to bind with uh, the lactose uh, protein uh, not pro sorry the lactose uh, sugar so as a result of this la not binding ability of the lactose sugar uh, what will happen let us see so as a result in normal time they can usually bind with this operator region pretty finely but even though the lactose is present it cannot be modified as we know in all these cases what happened when the when the lactose present let us look at this animation again when the lactose is present in in the wild type case it can uh, it can change the uh, structural modi or it can modify the structure of the repressor in such a way that it loses the ability to bind with the operator side because the, the presence of lactose act as a positive control uh, uh, to to turn on uh, the lac operon but in this case even though the lactose is present but due to the IS type of modification onto these repressor proteins then this lactose cannot change the modification uh, cannot change uh, uh, the structure of this repressor 
thus this repressor still hold on to the operator side it cannot be clipped out from this operator side and overall system is shut down all the time the system is shut down so if you are having any is type of uh, mutant then in those cases the lac operon will be halted all the time and this type of bacteria cannot utilize lactose in any kind of situations whatsoever okay and if you are having uh, the mutant like oc or the operator side mutant then in those cases this type of bacteria will always utilize uh, lactose irrespective of presence of glucose or not so these are the extreme scenarios we have been talking about okay so this uh, this is about the regulation of lactose and i hope it will help you okay okay uh, now uh, we'll uh, we'll be seeing this uh, positive and negative regulation of uh, this lac operon. Now here we can see uh, we have discussed this in animation, but let us again talk about it in a little bit. Now here, uh, for example, let me take the tools. Okay. Uh, hmm. Okay. Fine. Okay, now in this case you can see uh, there is a relation between the level of cyclic AMP and uh, glucose uh, because if you are having a higher level of glucose there will be low amount of cyclic AMP and vice versa. Now in this case when there is a glucose is present so there will be low cyclic AMP and, and we know cyclic AMP is acting as a positive regulator of uh, this uh, lac operon. So in this case glucose is present no lactose so uh, so there will be no problem normal glucose metabolism will be going on uh, cyclic AMP will come because uh, and as a result of a less cyclic AMP uh, cyclic AMP activator protein will be function less because this cap protein or cyclic AMP activator prote protein uh, cannot act uh, on its own it must uh, need cyclic AMP at its as its companion to interact with itself to make a dimer and then come uh, ca can come and sit onto the promoter sequence so it will be function less in this case so in, in this kind of situations lac repressor will come and bind with the operator and the transcription will be blocked. Now in second case where we are having the glucose uh, as a result of the presence of glucose there will be low level of cyclic AMP but still this is interesting because lactose is present in the media and glucose is also presented in the media but still what what will be happening now this is a pretty interesting uh, example in this case why uh, we'll be uh, looking at uh, in a moment now the, in this case uh, we are having the cyclic AMP activated protein but as a result uh, there is a low amount of uh, cyclic AMP this cap will not function uh, so properly so it will not bind to the promoter re uh, region so it, it will be slipped out and in this case as a result of the lactose uh, is present it can come and bind with the lactose uh, repressor and as a result of this binding lactose repressor changes its conformation which is pretty common and it cannot bind with the region so there will be a moderate or very very little amount of lactose mRNA which will be transcribed uh, that means the mRNA for ZYA or structural gene will be transcribed but a very very little amount okay in that case but but most of the uh, uh, curriculum which will be going on inside the cell is regarding glucose because glucose is present and they always give the first preference to glucose right because glucose is the simplest sugar of all and so slide level up so small uh, right okay now in the third case where we are having uh, no glucose present but still lactose is present so cell need to produce energy no glucose so what we are having we are having lactose so let's go and break down lactose that's the actual uh, the decision will be taken by the cell so the the lactose will come and bind with uh, this repressor as a result of that repressor cannot bind with it so it will blow uh, it is replaced displaced from this uh, operator side and as a result of the low glucose level or the no glucose level there will be higher amount of cyclic AMP and the cyclic AMP can come and bind with uh, this uh, cyclic AMP activator protein or cap now this cap and cyclic AMP uh, will make a complex with uh, each other and this uh, sorry this this two protein complex can come and sit on to the promoter region and then it 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 helps uh, those those polymerase to sit onto it and read all the sequences there via transcription. Now there is the interaction between the RNA polymerase and cap cyclic AMP complex is due to the the subunit of the alpha uh, alpha subunit of uh, that uh, 
uh, what you can say uh, RNA polymers because you can see the RNA polymer structure is a little bit like that we have we have seen it in previous times so this is this will be the structure of RNA polymers this is the sigma factor here like this and this is the alpha subunit both of these alpha uh, and one is beta one is beta dashed and there will be sigma and all the subunit like that so this alpha subunit interact with uh, this so let me take another color. So it, it interacts with the cyclic AMP CRP complex, which is here. Suppose this one is the cyclic AMP CRP complex, and alpha subunit recognizes it and it uh, promptly initiates the transcription of the structural genes. Okay, so there will be higher amount of uh, operon positive control in this case. Okay, so so that's it.